Peter's way of creating is one of arriving rather than just creating. By juxtaposing different elements and introducing them to new contexts, new meanings emerge that are far deeper than one can simply conjure with one's mind alone. It's an accumulative process that takes shape over time, and the process itself is the art. Peter strives to unveil patterns and insights that were possibly always present, but which we never saw until we adjusted our gaze. It's all about the perspective. Peter is also a creator that likes to draw out the artist in other people by making the beholder a part of the artistic experience. Rather than dictating the meaning of his art, he strives to make people co-creators, to create a space for interpretation where you fill in the gaps and imbue the art with your own meaning. Much like a band leader, Peter simply sets the stage and then encourages each unique voice to get heard. And that is very much the case with our hexagon enclosed rooms. Although they are based on and accumulated by your ideas, they are not definitive fixed symbols. Rather, they draw on multiple meanings specifically in order to invite new meanings. All of us are welcome to let them represent what we want them to. What do the symbols really mean? Well, that is solely up to you. The same approach can be applied to the listening experience when you, for example, listen to the songs on Pentel. Most of you don't understand our Icelandic lyrics, but instead you get to decide what the songs mean to you. And that is exactly the way it should be. All in all, Peter created around 30 different symbols. But this is an open-ended system. More importantly, these runes are now our common language, which we hope will continue to evolve and grow, to become a living thing. So it's time to pass the ball back to you guys and invite you to directly design your own rune. In the description of this video is a link where you can download the hexagon template that Peter used to create the runes. We encourage you to draw your own symbol within the hexagon shape. Make the symbol yours and imbue it with a meaning that is special to you. You don't need any creative background to do this and there are no rules. The template has grids to help you get started, but feel free to totally disregard them. Draw circles if you like, curved lines, dot work, or whatever you can think of. This language belongs to you as much as us, and however it will evolve from this point is up to all of us. In fact, make as many symbols as you feel like, and once you come up with something that you like, we'd love it if you would share them with us. Take a photo of your symbols and email them to austir at gmail.com so that we can incorporate them into the Pentut and Bleek artwork universe and so that all of us can enjoy them. Like new constellations in a night sky, let's see what new ideas these new signs will give rise to. What will be the new associations of our collective imagination? In the next video, we will turn our attention to the next chapter of this story, the artwork for Bleak. Remember our weekly game of Enjoy Your Weekend, where we share pictures of how our world and immediate surroundings look like each week? Well, this game of ours might find its way into our continuing saga of the twin albums Pentutl and Bleak, Two Moments in Time.